Hi, my name's Mark. I'm a repair technician in Wichita, Kansas. Over the next few months, I plan to be blogging some repairs that I do, covering the repairs from start to finish, and we'll see how that process goes. Uh, this is Mark, the multimeter junkie again. I'm planning to blog some repairs as time goes by. Uh, um, I'll be doing them from start to finish, but uh, this is one that's already completed. Uh, a Marantz SR8000 from about 2000 model year. I've had an opportunity to get to know this receiver and it's been a mixed blessing. Um, first of all, uh, these receivers tend to develop bad solder connections uh, back here in the standby transformer area and along at these vertical circuit boards. Uh, both of those problems have been repaired. I have repaired this unit in the past for a blown amplifier channel, which is always fun. Uh, this entire assembly has to come out of there completely. Uh, the circuit board here and all of the power transistors have to be unsoldered. Uh, the, of course, the output transistor is replaced and a number of small resistors uh, replaced as well. Um, this time it came in for uh, uh, not a blown amplifier channel but a, a, a protection circuit problem. Uh, it actually had about a 18 or 20 volt uh, negative DC offset on this channel right here. Um, the usual suspects for something like that are going to be something like this. Either the uh, differential pair or the low frequency roll-off capacitor. Now very often it's, it's uh, effective just to replace those on general principles. I did that, it didn't fix the problem. Uh, the problem turned out to be this 56K resistor was bad. Uh, I determined that when I discovered that there was no voltage drop across uh, RT17, uh, even though the uh, uh, base emitter voltage was uh, nearly correct. Uh, replaced the uh, bad 56K resistor, resolved the problem. Uh, unfortunately, uh, on checkout, the receiver had other problems. Um, there was a whole group of uh, inputs on the back that had uh, no audio. That turned out to be a bad uh, audio switch IC. This IC right here uh, turned out to be bad. Um, audio in but no audio out. Uh, power supplies were okay. Uh, these chips require uh, data clock and chip enable pulses uh, uh, to be present and accounted for. Uh, unfortunately uh, no chip enable. It was actually uh, shorted through the chip at about 450 ohms. Um, that got this receiver uh, up and running. This has been a repair brief by Mark in Wichita, Kansas. I hope you found it useful. See you next time.